Hello, my name is Nathan Taylor, also known as Sockmetician, and welcome to this series of special video tutorials filmed to accompany my book, Guys Knit. This particular video relates to the tutorial found on page 50, and is all about casting off what to do when you've finished knitting. When you've reached the end of your knitting, the one thing you need to do is learn how to stop. It's like ice skating. There's no good going forwards as fast as you possibly can. If you don't know how to stop, you're going to get yourself into a right pickle. If you just stopped knitting and pulled the knitting off the needle, all of these loops that you so painstakingly created would just all unravel down and everything would be lost. So we need to find a way of securing all of these loops as we go across the needle. There are many ways to do casting off, as it's called, or binding off if you're in the US. But this is one of the simplest. One thing to note before we get going on this one, it's not a very stretchy cast off. Our cast on edge has quite a lot of stretch to it and we want to sort of match that. So it's best to keep the tension nice and loose as you work your way along. The first two stages of this is basically just knit two stitches. You know exactly how to do that. Knit one and knit two. Every time we find ourselves with two stitches on the right hand needle we are going to cast one off, literally cast it away. So we take the tip of the left hand needle and we insert it going in purlwise into the front of the second stitch on the right needle. Not the one that's closest to the tip but the, the first one that we just knitted there. Then once we've got that nicely caught on the left hand needle we can pull it off over the top of the first stitch there and let it go free. Now we've only got one stitch over there to worry about. So then the next stage is we knit one stitch and again we've got two stitches on this right hand needle Let me just get hold of my yarn properly. So we're going to insert the tip of the left hand needle into the second stitch, first and second, and pull it off over the top. Then we knit one cast one off. And what we're doing there is we're drawing one stitch through the other and every time we draw one through the other it successfully catches it and keeps it from being able to go anywhere. It also gives us this rather nice decorative line of V stitches working across the top of our piece of knitting. I'm going to show you that a couple more times and you can really see how it all starts to build up. Knit second stitch, bind one off over the top of the other, knit, go into the second stitch, cast one off over the top of the other. See I'm completely bilingual, bind one off, cast one off, completely interchangeable. Keep doing that all the way along your row until you get to the end and when you've only got one stitch left on your needle I'll show you what you need to do. So here I am, I've just got two stitches left on the end of my row and as you can see I've cast off the others very successfully. Those are not going to go anywhere, everything is nice and safe and nice and attractive too. This last one is uh, no different from any of the others. I'm just going to cast that final stitch off and I am now left with one stitch there. It again just means you knit it, I have two stitches over here, and you cast one off, which leaves me with my final stitch on the right hand needle. The only thing I need to do now is cut my yarn, leaving enough of a tail for weaving in. 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters is usually enough. And now all I need to do is pull on this needle and the end pops free. There we go. So it's not going to unravel because I didn't allow it to go back through, the loop to go back through on itself. I've pulled that there. It's nice and taut. It's never going to go anywhere. All I need to do then would be to pick up a tapestry needle and uh, weave in the end on the back of the work and make it nice and invisible. There is your cast off piece of knitting. All safe, all secure, perfectly happy.